been working on trying to improve our live stream and and trying to make it more interactive where I could share some information, whether it's Google Earth or stuff online. I I got this past weekend, I got I got uh, let's see, I got an email and I and I got a few Facebook messages from people that are looking at either buying land or building houses in North Idaho. And, and, and everybody's got different questions and, and different perspective. And, and it seems like the question always comes up that, Hey, where, what do I do? What's the process? How do I get started? What do I need to do first? Do I need plans? Do I have to talk to an architect? And one of the best resources that we have, luckily, um, a lot of counties, smaller counties, more rural counties don't have uh, this. And it is a Bonner County, it's a GIS system. And that, that Bonner County GIS is a wealth of information. And, and I'll go ahead and pull up the map and show you a, a few of the things that you can jump online wherever you're at in the world pull up this Bonner County GIS map and go through stuff and look at zoning and and look at some of the we'll, we'll go through it I'll pull up the map right now and show you some of this stuff let's see here so here's um, this is the, the Bonner County Idaho.gov map and it is it is a wealth of information down here in the in the lower left there's there's these little stacks of paper or, or whatever this might be and it brings up some of the different layers that are here um, so if we zoom in here we are Bonner County Lake Pend Oreille. you're looking for property in Bonner County you pull up this map you're going to be able to locate the the parcel that you're looking at. You can see it brings up all the parcels, and it's it's going to be close. It's not it's not exact. You have to understand that this map is probably going to be within you know 60, 50, 60 feet, whatever it might be. But it's not it's not going to be perfect or exact. So here's here's parcels for the county. Well, let's say that you find some property that is um, south of Priest River. It's in the Hoodoo Valley. You're over here on Spirit Lake Cutoff Road in this area. You're you're looking at at some some property, and you want to see what the parcels are around you, or who might own that property in that area. Um, you can come over here, click on information and when you click on that that parcel it's going to show you that that particular parcel but what it's going to show you is who owns it so okay this is a 634.72 acre piece and it's owned by the state of idaho so it's state land wow um that's that's good to know it means i probably won't see a lot of building probably won't see a lot of 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 development on that parcel so man owning owning land next to that that might be something i'm interested in um but let's look at at some of the zoning so if i've click off of there uh, maybe i can leave it let's see here if i click on zoning and land use it brings up the zoning, and if I, I look over here, I'm, I see that, that that green, that dark green is Ag Forest 20. So those are 20-acre uh, minimum zoning in that area. But adjacent to that, to the north, we have obviously some smaller parcels, and that is Ag Forest 10. Um, but obviously you can see that some of the parcels in there are smaller than than 10 acres so the question is is what does that what might that mean you may have to get with bonner county and and see what would be permitted or what you can build in those particular zones 
but here we've got these are so that's a 20 acre piece it's a 20 acre piece okay these are bigger than I thought that's 40 acres right there wow it's it's hard to tell on the map I zoom in okay okay these are 10 acre pieces zoomed out it looked like maybe those were five acre pieces or 10 acre pieces but there's larger parcels in there um, what else have we got for information here um, Let's click on FEMA. Okay, so we're, we're seeing on the map where we've got waterways in relationship to your property. I mean, it's interesting that this particular parcel right here, that one there, boy, that, that property has quite a bit of flood zone on the property. So if you were buying that particular property, you... You might think, wow, that's a nice, nice flat piece of property, but it's actually in a flood zone. There's probably going to be different building requirements for that particular lot than you would see with, say, a different lot that's outside of a flood hazard zone. Um, what else have we got? Hydrology. Okay, so that's bringing up streams and creeks. So if you want a piece of property that's got a stream that might be going through it. You want to know if it's seasonal or if it's a year-round creek. The, this map is going to allow you to take a look at that. Um, wow, around the lake. Let's go up to Priest Lake here. Here we go. So you can see this red, this red, red lines through here is floodway. So if you were buying, say, this piece, this piece of property here, state of Idaho, it's 80 acres. But if you were buying that, you'd want to know that there's floodway that goes through that entire property, and that building there is is going to be more challenging. Um, so there's good information here, things to look at. Um, the zoning, uh, this in this rural area, you're seeing a lot of agricultural forestry, 10 and 20. But as you get up around the lake, you see a lot more of the the recreational. Let's see if I turn off some of the floodway hydrology, lakes and streams. Turn the lake off. Um. So in these areas here in uh, Coolin, up at Priest Lake, you've got higher density. There's probably uh, sewer and water in that area. If you're seeing those types of densities, that the zoning can be an indicator of 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 higher density sewer districts, different things. So depending on what kind of property you're looking for. Uh, there's there's a lot of information to be gleaned from from this particular map. See, I'll click the zoning off. See addressing. So all of those little green dots are addresses. So if you were As many of you know, this is the subdivision that we've been working on the last couple of years. And you can see that there's already addresses here for these properties. Leatherman Drive, 44 Leatherman Drive. Uh, this would be Lightfoot Drive. Um, so as you're looking for an address or, or wanting to know what the house number might be in that area, you might have a road name like Leatherman Drive, but th this this map would let let you have a, a house number for that particular parcel. There are a, a lot of counties that don't have a GIS map that is as, as nice as this one. We're really fortunate in Bonner County to have access to this. 
Um, if we go up the road and zoom out a bit, we get into Boundary County, which is Bonners Ferry area. You get onto their their county website and looking for information. Um, it's about one step better than smoke signals. Um, it it's it can be frustrating now. Some people might argue that that's, that's nice that all that information isn't out there, that some of this may infringe on, on people's privacy. I, I understand that. I hear that argument. But I think uh, the greater good of, of people being able to make informed, educated decisions, especially when, when making large purchases like either buying a house or building a house, I think having this much information to be able to buy in the right place to get to get the thing that's going to work best for you, make sure you have the right zoning that you can do what you want to do with your property. You just can't beat access to this GIS mapping system that Bonner County has. So if you if you get a minute, spend some time with it. It uh, if you're looking at, at moving to North Idaho, you should be spending a lot of time getting to know the area getting to know the roads. You notice here I'm zoomed out, but you can see the red roads. So those are county roads. Those are kind of main roads. Um, you, so you can, you can see that there are um, – maybe if you don't want to be going down and having to travel a long – uh, long dirt road and potholes, then you're going to want to find property that is adjacent to one of these, these kind of county connector roads that's going to put you back onto the asphalt sooner than later. That's maybe something to consider. On the other hand, if you don't want to be on a busier road, then you're going to want to buy property that's further away from these from these busier roads. You know, as you look out here, you you see here at the end. You know, if you've got property out here, you're not going to have as much traffic as as you would if you're out in these busier areas. So something to consider. There's a lot of information, a lot, lot to look at as you're looking at property or you're thinking about building a house and, and considering those costs. I, I think there, there is there a lot of good information here. When people reach out to me, they call me. Uh, they, they send me a message on Instagram or Facebook or or at my email. This is one of the first places that I send people because there's there's so much information to gather. And maybe 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 you don't know all the questions you should be asking, but but this can start to get you thinking about the areas in the county that work best for you and starting to understand the lay of the land here. And then we can certainly talk more about what are the questions you should be asking as far as utilities or or um, zoning or what you're going to do on your property or you know are you in a situation where you're older and you want access to to a hospital or maybe you're younger and you have kids and so you want to be closer to schools or or you want to be more remote and and private and so you want to find something that's down a quiet road somewhere. There's a lot of that to consider and to think about that's going to be very, very personal based on your situation as you're looking for property. So if you get a minute, spend some time here um, looking at this particular map, spend some time. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out and we'll continue to, to, um, We'll switch back off of this map and we'll spend some more time, um, you know, put your comments down below and we'll talk about whatever questions you might have on this particular map. If you want more information or if you want to look at stuff, if you want to run scenarios, if you want to look at whatever, um, there's a million things to look at, uh, there's things to consider about. I don't know. I'm sure you're going to have questions. I can only speculate, but if, for future live videos, we'll go through this map. We'll spend some more time gathering information and talking about what might work for you. But it'll really help if you put your, your questions down in the comments, and we'll, we'll go through those on the next video. So 
Thanks a bunch. Appreciate it. Let us know how we can help.